Hot Ride Party in the USA. It's called Young Miley Cyrus helping us party in the USA on this New Year's Eve 2011. Welcome back to Maryland's Cafe Society radio program, everybody. And of course, we're prepping for uh, the big, spectacular, amazing, awesome <laughs> event that's going to occur at midnight. The stroke of midnight will be ushering in the new year, 2012, and with all its fanfare. All right. So before the break, we were talking about the history of New Year's Eve television. 70 years it's been happening for us. Can you believe that? 70 years. Um, and it all started back on NBC, December 31st, 1941. With who? <laughs> with, um, let's see. I just figured it was no, Dick Clark. No, it wasn't Dick uh, Clark. It was um, Guy Lombardi. Oh, of course. Uh -huh. Guy Lombardi. Who doesn't love Guy? Well, hold on. Let me back up for a second. The first... New Year's Eve special on television was broadcast on December 31st, 1941 on NBC and consists of entertainment from the Rainbow Room atop the RCA building in New York's Rockefeller Center. Before Dick Clark became synonymous with mm -hmm. New Year's Eve, the honor went to the band leader Guy Lombardi. After many years on radio, he hosted the New Year's Eve shows from 1956 to 1976 on CBS from the Waldorf Astoria in New York. It doesn't tell us who was at the helm of, of hosting these New Year mm -hmm. Eve special prior to 1956, and then that's something. That's pretty neat. So maybe it was just a string of hosts. It could be. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nobody really stuck until mm -hmm. our guy got there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it switched networks, too. Did mm -hmm. you notice that? From NBC to CBS for a 20-year span. All right. And then, of course, um, uh, he, Guy Lombardo, and his Royal Canadians made the Auld Lang Syne um, song, the New Year's Eve song. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what that means. What does that mean? Auld Lang Syne. Um, I'm going into Wikipedia Not to forget mode. your... Um, your acquaintances and friends that you met over the years, something like that. I mean, like literally word for word. Oh, okay. What like, the words? You know themselves. what I mean? Like the actual. What does that even mean? Yes. I'm going to do some research. Check and it get out. Back Check to it out. That. All right. So then, um, back in 1972, Dick Clark came up with the idea of counter programming the older skewing Lombardo. He produced, but did not appear on Three Dog Nights, New Year Eve's Rockin' Eve back in 1973 on NBC. So now there was a little competition taking place between the two networks. The special also featured Blood, Sweat, and Tears, um, Helen Reddy, and Al Green, and was pre-taped at the Grand Ballroom of the Queen Mary docked in Long Beach, California. Now we switch to the West Coast here as well. So this is very interesting. All right. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve debuted on ABC on New Year's Eve 1974. And performers included the Beach Boys, Chicago, and Olivia Newton-John, Ryan Seacrest, who has taken over most of the hosting duty, duties during <laughs> that time, was about a week old. <laughs> he was a Christmas baby, I guess. All right. And so now New Year's Rockin' Eve, um, um, back in 1999 to 2000, was preempted in favor of ABC's 24-hour coverage of the worldwide celebrations of the new millennium. Remember, I was just telling you about that. Um, Nick, right before we went on the show, there was that special program transitioning us from the old millennium, uh, the old 1900s into the 2000s. And um, uh, Dick Clark's traditional ball dropping countdown from Times Square was included in in the coverage. But the New Year's Rock and Eve did not actually broadcast. So. Very interesting history here on how we got to all of these New Year Eve's celebrations. And boy, I tell you, did you find out what I did. Lang Syne? Uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it's spelled, by the way, old is it's spelled A-U-L-D, Lang, mm -hmm. L-A-N-G, and Syne, S-Y-N-E. 
and literally old long silence but the meaning of it essentially days gone by old times mm-hmm. like, so, so that's what the, that, mm-hmm. that means makes sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. used to be a poem then they put it to music okay remember the old times mm-hmm. very good okay so now i think just about every network and cable station <laughs> that exists will be doing some kind of New Year's Eve television program, starting with Fox, who's committing all things to country music. Did you hear about that? No. Yeah, they're going to be uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. It's going to air from about 11 o'clock tonight to 12.30 a.m. on Fox, um, locally here, Channel 32. It's America Country New Year Eve's Live. And they're going to feature performances by country acts Joe Nichols, Rodney Atkins, Lauren Elena, Toby Keith, and the Eli Young Band. Um, it, of course, is uh, going to take place at the Sin City's Mandalay Bay Resort and is hosted by comedian Rodney Carrington along with Pawn Stars Rick Harrison <laughs> and Austin Chumley Russell. I love that show. This was an 11th hour decision that the network made. They dumped their usual pop and hip hop programming after the success of this year's American Country Music Awards. Isn't that something? That is very interesting, actually. Very, very interesting. Country is popular. Yeah, it is. You know, and it's good music, too. I love me some country. Mm -hmm. I got my cowboy hat in my truck. I bet. I do. All right. And so CNN is also doing their their thing this year with Anderson Cooper. Love him. And uh, Kathy Griffin. Love her, she too. She is very funny. She's yes, she funny. is. Um, and, um, yeah, so anyway, they're going to be doing their thing. Um, let's see, who else? Obviously, we just talked about Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. Um, ABC will be celebrating 40 years of, of doing it in that format, um, starting at about 7 o'clock tonight, mm-hmm. actually, with the trip down uh, Rockin' Eve's Memory Lane. Mother Macaulay grad Jenny McCarthy, yeah. local she's local Plainfield. girl she's here. Plainfield, yeah. Uh, well, Jenny actually is from Southside Chicago. Oh, her Jenny cousin, McCarthy. I'm sorry. Th- I'm, I'm her thinking. cousin, yep. Melissa, right. is Plainfield. That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. And Fergie um, is going to host this two-hour anniversary special. Uh, performers include, uh, boy, Justin Bieber. Oh yay! Uh, <laughs> is that what I sarcasm? love Justin Bieber. Okay. <laughs> Can't you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Ooh. LMFAO. They're funny. I like them uh-huh. guys, actually. They're good. The band Perry. Country other uh, country artists. Ty Cruz or Tay Cruz? I have no idea. Okay. Pitbull. Must, must be a pop artist. <laughs> yeah. Pitbull, okay. Gym Class Heroes, Florence and the Machine, and Will.I.Am. Will I am, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, the Clark. The Clarkathon continues with Chicagoans <laughs> uh, shortly after the ball drops in Times Square. So about 11 o'clock, shortly thereafter, locally, uh, WLS TV will pick up with Margie and Greco and He's always there, yeah. Janet. Um, my friend Janet Davies will will take the helm from there. All right, then on another network, NBC, Carson Daly will be in Times Square tonight. Um, starting at about nine o'clock, and Jim and Fallon. Jimmy Fallon is great. Jimmy Fallon will uh, jump on on board with that, and they, of course, will will do the countdown. Now they have a, a pop hip hop lineup: Drake, mm-hmm. rapper Drake, uh, Jesse J, The Roots, uh, Tony Bennett. And CeeLo Green. He's not hip-hop. Tony Bennett's not hip hop. But he, you know, they embrace yeah. him. Yeah. You know, he's 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 sort of uh, transcends yeah. um, tra- transcends any uh, genre of music. Everybody Everyone loves, loves Tony, Bennett. Tony Bennett. All right. So uh, again, that's the uh, Daily Show. It's going to start though uh, at nine. Let's see. What are they saying? Something about midnight in Chicago. Keep in mind that by the time it's midnight in Chicago, Carson's Daily Show will be over. And then um, WMAQ locally here will be ringing in the new year with a Saturday Night Live rerun. Really? Come on, NBC. That is that's terrible. That's terrible. If if you're gonna if you're gonna start New Year's Eve celebration, finish it. Don't just run something. Oh, I'm not. Guess what? I'm not gonna watch tonight. 
Wow. Yeah. NBC. That's interesting. Maybe they didn't want to compete with ABC. Well, obviously. <laughs> it seems like they haven't been competing with ABC in a while. Oh, boy. All right. Fox News Channel, Megan Kelly and Bill Hemmer uh, will host cable networks all American New Year from 10 to about 1130. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, MTV is going to be doing something, as we can imagine. Mm-hmm. Performances by Selena Gomez, J. Cole, Jason Drew. I don't know any of these names outside of <laughs> Selena Gomez. Me neither. Then British rock band Coldplay okay. will be cranking out hits, old and new, during the Austin City Limits installment starting after midnight. That's about 1230 a.m. tonight or this morning or tomorrow morning on WTTW Channel 11. How about that? I love Channel 11. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, there's going to be a whole lot to do for individuals who want to stay in tonight, you know, and you want to just have the television in the background. You'll have a whole lot of options um, in terms of that. All right. Well, I guess we will. Uh, let's see. Where are we with our time? I, I always. We could take a one more break here. Let's take a break, mm-hmm. and then we'll come back and continue to look at some things that'll be happening uh, tonight and tomorrow, and things that you can actually do and participate in, and uh, so much more. Stay where you are. That's thirteen forty WJOL WJOL dot com and Maryland's Cafe Society dot com. Mm-hmm. 